Interesting. Well, honestly, I think they should have removed that right shoulder hold. That was just stupid. It is stupid. Like, you can't even see the person and you get shot. He can see you clister crystal clear and you can't see anything. The way they should have done it is like you are holding with a left shoulder. Like, your shoulder, your head, your weapon is sticking out. And if the guy peeks, he can see you. The way that the right shoulder peek works is you can't even see the fucking guy. I don't know why now they made it a problem from both sides. I mean, it's more fair this way that it's from both sides, but it's equally unfair now. <laughs> I would love if Tarko would get a couple of things fixed. Like that game is great. It could be it could be one of the best games ever, but the major issues it has and they and and the devs just refusing constantly to fix those. I don't know what to say. How long is it going to take for them to fix something? One over pen, you gotta be kidding. Uh, I only saw the picture. Just gave up on Arena. It was my seventh match or so, and I kept getting blasted by Chads with BS rounds, one tapping me. So big fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Arena is like in the beta now, and a lot of people got access, from what I heard. But um, they're going to have to work on it. Or that is going to be the iteration of the game that dies faster than... I don't know. I just don't... I just do not see Arena being interesting for a very long time. Like, it was very fun for, for, for uh first few days and then grinds got so goddamn boring. Like, it's just grind, 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 playing the same shit. With the same gun over and over and over and over and over. And you're like, uh, after a couple of days, I'm kind of bored. Oh wow. What is that dispersion? Was painful? What do you mean was? Is painful. The whole point in arena is that you kind of want to switch weapons and loadouts and, ha and have some fun. The way they made it is after you grind a couple of tiers, you're just stuck with one guy. And the more you switch, the more you stay lower tier. And the weaker you are in comparison to your opponents. Who are just grinding one preset, just one guy over and over and over and over. That's, that's just not definition of fun. What happened to that tournament in laser tag? You guys won? Yeah. Yeah. We almost didn't. 
we actually lost in the finals of the winner's bracket, which was a shock to everybody, literally. Um, and then we had to go into the loser's bracket finals and fight against our second team. We beat them. They stay third. We go back into the winner's bracket for grand finals against the same opponents that we lost to, and we beat them. And we're first, they're second, and Mrs. Team stayed, th stayed third. It was the, the biggest rat team we have ever faced. By far the biggest rat team. It, w it was kind of tilting, annoying, and embarrassing to play against them in the same time. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I never want to play against them again. But we already know we're going to be playing against them again. They already called the owner and asked him like 700 times when is the next tournament. And he keeps telling them, we don't know. We don't know. Like, dude, we don't know. And they keep asking. It's just they're, they're a bit special. They were a bit special. Like, we really never want to play against them again. Like, it, it, th that level of gameplay can go choke in the toilet somewhere. Like, it's just like you do not want to play a game like that. It's just not fun, bro. We failed to adapt in the first, first match. They beat us by like 850 points, so 4-5 kills. It really not much. We should have never allowed them to win in the first match. Although, to a degree, as much as I hate the fact that we lost to them at all, maybe it's for the better, because then when it really mattered in the grand finals, we, we adapted perfectly. We beat them in their own game, because we're better than them. We are better in literally everything and anything when it comes to laser tag than those guys. Her rat gameplay was just incredibly annoying and tilting to play against. But it is what it is. Like, I, I don't mean to be the salty fucker that just shit talks its opponents and stuff. Um, when, when it ended, we went and congratulated GG and all that stuff, but I never want to play against them again. And not because I'm afraid we're going to lose against them, it's because fuck that kind of gameplay. Oh yeah, okay. Like, it, it was really the most frustrating and boring gameplay uh, we ever witnessed. And then we failed to adapt to it in the first game properly and we lost. And then, I, and then they accused us of unfair game, which just made me explode. I was so frustrated, I could never... I, I, I never really actually celebrated winning the tournament. Like, I was so frustrated that... I never really got to enjoy the win. Like, I really, like, I, I was so out of my mind that I couldn't even enjoy the win. Some people would say, well, that made it even sweeter. But I was so out of myself that I, I just, I couldn't even celebrate the win. I was, I was so tilted. I was so pissed, so angry, so frustrated. He's dead. Yep. They accuse us of unfair gameplay while they are squatting in every dark corner they could find for 10 minutes straight. Refusing to fight fairly or properly or anything, just squatting like little rats. And then they, they one of their teammates even goes into the toilet, which is inside the arena, but not somewhere you're supposed to go, and shoots, shoots from the arena, uh, shoots from the toilet. Both games. They're literally cheating, and they call us out for unfair play. I was so pissed. I was so angry. It took, it, it took me two or three days to calm down, and I never really got the happiness for winning the tournament. I got the, the trophies. Is, it's here somewhere. In the middle. Um, and, I, and I never really felt super happy about it. And Mrs. was like, I can't believe it. I can't believe you're not happy and celebrating. I'm like, I can't. I, can't. I am just so angry and so tilted and so pissed and so triggered. And, and I, I can't even calm myself down, let alone celebrate a win against these fuckers. And then the uh, a few weeks later, I talked to the owner. And he's like, 
Oh, they gave me a call. That same woman that, that was bitching and whining and complaining, which she always kind of does, she gave me a call and she was like, when's the next tournament? I told her, I don't know. But, but, but where's the next tournament? I'm like, I don't know. Is there going to be a next tournament? We don't know. Maybe, probably, but we don't know for sure. But when is it going to be? He's like, I don't know. Okay, but if it's going to be, is it going to be public? It's like, no, I'm going to make a tournament that's going to be private. Like, I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> uh, and what's funny is uh, we, somebody heard them talking. Somebody actually heard them talking and say that they're going to beat us no problem. And that um, it's going to be easy. And I'm thinking to myself, you guys have to be brutally disconnected from reality. If you th Well, they did beat us. They did beat us the first time. But not, not when we adapted to their gameplay. That was it. That was GG. Like, they just never stood a chance. Um, like, how disconnected from reality do you have to be to think you're going to beat the team that literally has murdered everybody with, like, almost 30,000 score? But I know why they saw it. They saw us play in the open, which can be a very messy gameplay, but... We're going to beat anyone in a messy gameplay because we are that good. And they play like rats. So they were like, yeah, these guys can run around all they want. We're just going to kill them. They're going to keep falling into our ambushes. And we were idiots enough to actually fall for it. We, we actually failed to adapt. Even though I, I, I was... I kept telling people what to do in scenarios before this and, and what they should do. And if something is not working, you have to clearly adapt and change. And while I was playing that match and losing, I kept hearing my own fucking words. And I, and I still failed to adapt properly. Because we were kind of panicking. When we started falling behind, it was like, well, now we got to go even harder at them. And the harder you go at them, the harder you lose. It was a contradictory kind of thing because you have to uh, you have to find them and shoot them and kill them to get the points. But if you do that, you keep falling into their traps. You have to play very slow, very careful, very methodical. Because these rats are literally squatting in every corner. I, I can't believe that five people were doing that every game they played for five minutes, for ten minutes straight. That's why their scores were constantly between like 8 and 13,000, while our scores were between 24 and 30,000. I just couldn't bloody believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. But it is what it is. The toilet lurkers. Rats. Rats. They should have, they should have called themselves rats. It would have been perfect. It would have been fucking perfect. Oh my fucking god, really? And I wouldn't have even been that frustrated if these guys didn't start complaining before the match even started, then they continued complaining throughout the game, and then they bitched and whined about the game afterwards, and then they accused us of unfair play. All the while, they were the ones cheating. <laughs> I was... I just... I literally just exploded, my dude. I was prepared to just go, oof. Oof. I'm telling you, I never really felt super happy or super satisfied about it. Hey, did you know? It feeds fit by fit type fit I fit feed fit fit feed at high octave. Fit by fit 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 pipe die fit fit five bit fit fit five die fit 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 five fit die fit fit. Thank you, Parmenion, for 22 months. Code for some containers. Is that a public code? 